Right, my friends. How are we? What is going on? Welcome to my new place. Welcome to my new content creation station. And welcome back to the Rugby Player Reacts to the NFL Top 100 series for 2020. Today's video, we're looking at Kirk Cousins. He's the quarterback for the Vikings. Before we do get into it, I do want to read his, his uh, profile, get his stats, get his pre-draft measurables, and then we'll get into the video. Um, it's three minutes and nine seconds long. It was brought out pretty much exactly five months ago to the day. And with that being said, let's have a look. There he is in all his glory. August 19th, 1988, he was born in a place called Barrington, Illinois. That's weird. As a kid, after high school, we used to hang out in a place called Barrington. I've never seen Barrington be listed as a place on any of these guys' Wikipedia pages before. So that's something new. And you do learn something new every day. And you certainly learn something new in every one of these videos. So let's do six foot three, 200 pounds, pick number 102 in the fourth round of the 2012 draft. Played at the Redskins, who are now called the Washington football team from 12 to 17. Now he's at the Vikings. Two Pro Bowls, you know, clearly a franchise quarterback, you could say. Played for Michigan State. His pre-draft measurables, he measured one meter 90, or six foot two and five eighths of an inch, 97 kg, a 493 for the 40 yard dash. Well, um, 28.5 inches on the vertical, nine foot one on the ball jump. To be honest, yeah, Kirk Cousins, that's, that's almost Tom Brady-esque, but not quite. So he's clearly been, you know, perennial sort of franchise type quarterbacks, being one of the top probably 15 in the league for his whole entire career, it seems. On March 18th, 2020, he signed a two year, $66 million contract extension with the Vikings. And that is the season that he's currently playing. So with all that being said, let's have a look. What do you see against him? You like that? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Captain Kirk, at the end of every single year, he's a top quarterback. Somehow, some way, he does it. Kirk, man, he's accurate. He's accurate. It's another deep shot, Diggs. Center of the field, caught it on the run! What a catch. The ball when nobody can get to it but the receiver. Was a beautiful, beautiful throw. Oh, yeah. Quarterback. Kurt looked good out there. Kurt Cousins. So he's throwing to Thielen. Is he throwing to Adam Thielen? I'm pretty sure. Yes. So he's throwing to Dix, Thielen, and he's also got Delvin Cook at running back. As good as any quarterback I've seen. Thread in the needle. Give him that time, you give him that space, you give him that good route, he gonna drop him when he need to be dead, where he need to be. Just like his passes, Kirk Cousins' entire 2000 mm, That's 55 season, yards, quite easily. Just like his passes, Damn. Kirk Cousins' entire 2019 season was on point. <laughs> imagine that, a 55 yard bomb straight in the bread basket. Like literally, could you imagine watching from Kirk Cousins' eyes? Literally seeing your wide receiver jet down the field and be like, right, 50 yards. Yeah, I got it. 55 yards. Right on the button. For a touchdown. No wonder these guys go fucking ape shit when they score. He made a throw on me this year. I love this guy. Probably the best throw I've seen that was on me. I really do. I brought the route so good. But he found a way to put the ball out of bounds. Oh my god. That was a laser by Cousins. I said, gosh, y'all just did that on me right there. That was a perfect play. Bro, Game day. that is perfect. You cannot do anything. I feel bad for that guy. He did everything he could. How the fuck did that ball sneak in there? Not only that, but how did he keep his feet in? Let's have a look. Oh my goodness, what a throw. That was a laser. Can you see that? That's unbelievable, bro. I said, gosh, y'all just 
just did that on me right there. That was a perfect play. On game day, you know, he, he's in a different mindset. He's just going out there, and, and he don't care what people say about him. He don't care what people think about him. He's just going to go out there and play ball. Some have been saying that Cousins would like win a big game. Tied at 20 in the playoffs, Cousins threw one of the best passes of his career. He was dialed in, man. The, the throw he made to dealing in the overtime, that's big time. Bro, it wasn't even watching. Taylor wasn't even watching. It just happened to fall in his hands, just like it always does. You know, well, it's insane. Now what are they going to do? Who's going to score it? Who's going to score it? Cook. No, no. Touchdown! Lovely work. Seen it. Hey, you think that's a beautiful throw? I'm gonna say that's beautiful camera work. Man, AI, that's, that's stunning. That to win the game, the details to how he honed in and to silence the crowd, to silence the doubters, to prove everybody wrong. I think he's been doing that all his career. Funny story. So I see Kirk on the field. I said, Kirk gonna hit us with that. You like that? You like that? Say that from the beginning, baby. You hear me? You hear me? He walked in and he said, But I got three words for you. You like that? My favorite wide receiver. Bruh. Oh, I got shivers then. I did. I did. I haven't got shivers for a couple of videos, but I certainly did then because after a big win, after a 50-yard bomb to Adam Thielen and then a little, a little, you know, we uh, corner out to the, uh, the, the tight end there to, to score an amazing comeback touchdown to win the game. And then to go inside and say three words, you like that? I mean, shit, bro. Have you guys experienced anything like that in your life? Because I haven't. Always wanted to, but never have. Anyways, guys, that was a good look at Kirk Cousins. I actually really enjoyed that. I like him. I like him as a guy. You know, if I was a, if I was a, a real Vikings fan, he would be my favorite quarterback, no doubt. Dalvin Cook would be my favorite um, running back. You know, I'd probably go as far as to say that Adam Thielen would be my favorite wide receiver. In fact, he is one of my favorite wide receivers. But another guy, another guy that I do want to shout out here is someone that we just saw for a mere two seconds, but he was listed as the Vikings fullback. So I want to get him back on screen because he had a nice smile. We had a lot of Tredavious White. We had a bit of Darius Slay, uh, a bit of Adam Thielen there. Yeah, Delvin Cook. Where is this guy? He was only on there for a split second. Kurt. Ah, there he is. Kurt. Look at that smile, G. <laughs> that is why it imprinted in my brain. That's all I saw. Look at this guy. <laughs> CJ Ham, the Vikings fullback. Now, how big is this motherfucker? Because I tell you what, he has the looks of a movie star. CJ Ham. 27 years of age, 5 foot 11, 107 kg. He is... Well, he's a monster, and he's just got paid for another three-year, $12.25 million contract extension. Okay, and he runs a 4.65 40-yard dash, 22 reps on the bench, 37 inches on the vertical, 9 foot 10 on the broad jump. And he's playing fullback. It looks as if he's, he does have one rushing touchdown, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm just happy he's got paid. He's got paid again. For the 2020 season, he signed a three-year, $12.5 million, $12.25 million contract extension with the Vikings. So well done, mate. But this video was about Kirk Cousins, and I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did.